The Novena of the Sacred Heart Day 8 We enter quietly into this time of prayer, becoming aware of God's loving presence. During this prayer, we will linger over each word and phrase. We will contemplate its meaning. We will be invited to share our feelings with Jesus and listen quietly for what comes into our mind and our heart from the Lord. God wishes this time to be only for our good, for our peace, that during this time we may know truly the love of God for us through Jesus. It is a time of prayer when we don't really have to do anything, only to watch and to listen and to wait. We are guided during this prayer by God's Spirit to lead us into a place of interior stillness. In the stillness and in the silence to be aware of God's loving gaze on me, that God is full of love and hope for me. We ask to know that this loving gaze of God is sustaining and life-giving. We're asking in our heart for a deepening interior awareness of just how much we depend on God for our existence. During this time of prayer, you're invited to press pause, to pray quietly and still, and then to press, press pause again when you wish to continue. The theme of our prayer is Jesus as he continues to his cross. We begin with naming the desire for this prayer. I desire that I may know Jesus, Jesus who has become human for me more intimately, that I may love him more intensely and that I may follow him more closely and to feel sorrow and anguish with him. I desire that I may know Jesus become human for me more intimately, and to love him more intensely and to follow him more closely, to feel sorrow and anguish with him. And now the passage of Scripture. These things occurred so that the Scripture might be fulfilled. None of his bones shall be broken. And again, another passage of Scripture says, They will look on the one whom they have pierced. passage of scripture once more. 
These things occurred so that the scripture might be fulfilled. None of his bones shall be broken. And again, another passage of scripture says, They will look on the one whom they have pierced. Our moment for reflection. One of the soldiers we hear pierced the side of Jesus with his lance, penetrating to his heart, and out of his pierced side flowed blood and water. There is a tradition in the church of thinking of this outpouring from the heart of Christ as a fountain of sacramental life. We can ask also his mother Mary, one of the very few who remained close to the cross when most of the others fled, to share with us what was in her heart at this moment, the sword that pierced her heart. Now we have the Novena Prayer. Lord Jesus, you have said, Ask and you shall receive, seek and you shall find, knock and it shall be opened unto you. I come to you in faith and trust, in love and hope. Let me know your closeness to me and your care for me and all who are dear to me. My intention for this novena is dear to me, and I know that what is important to me is important to you. Hear my prayer. Grant what I ask, and may I always trust that in all that happens in my life, you will be close to me as my friend, guide, and saviour. And so, most sacred heart of Jesus, I place all my trust in you. Most sacred heart of Jesus, I place all my trust in you. Most sacred heart of Jesus, I place all my trust in you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen.